Welcome to Belgrade. It's the capital of Serbia and it used to be the capital of Yugoslavia. Today I'm gonna visit all the best things Belgrade has to offer and I'm gonna bring you with me. I'm in Belgrade Fortress right now, the most visited site in the city. And behind me you can see the Victor statue. The Victor statue symbolizes the victory over the Austrian-Hungarian and over the Ottoman Empire. Its construction was like a big scandal because the statue is nude. That's why the pedestal is so high that people can see his private parts as well. We already stopped at two small churches within the fortress. And one of them is really famous for its chandeliers. It has three chandeliers which are completely made out of weapons, like out of bullets and swords. Before we head into the city, we're gonna continue exploring the fortress a little bit more. The fortress is in the biggest park in Belgrade, so there's a lot to do and see here. It's a really big park and it's the perfect place to go for a stroll on a sunny day. The park with the fortress inside is located in between the river Danube and river Sava. So that's very cool. You can see where the two rivers meet. It's the most visited site in Belgrade. And walking through the park, you can definitely see why. It's very nice. And now, here's the view of river Sava. On the other side of the river Sava, there's loads of modern buildings. Um, actually, we just walked over there yesterday evening. We went to a cinema on the other side, and I think it's the cheapest cinema I've ever been to in Europe. I think we paid for two people, like five euros. So, very cheap cinemas. <laughs> and also you have a really nice view from the bridge. So many people, that's where we are heading now. find some really nice street art in Belgrade, but most of the time it's just ugly graffiti. But here we can see one beautiful example and one ugly one. <laughs> just walked past the popular shopping street. They have fountains and you can drink the water from the fountains. And in the park and in the city, they have those little popcorn stalls everywhere. So really cool. We're gonna get some popcorn. This was like 230 dinner. We're gonna have our popcorn and listen to some street musicians. We're at the Republic Square and if you're lucky enough, you can also catch a live performance here. And now we're gonna head to the hipster area of Belgrade, the Bohemian area. So it's like a street and area is supposed to be very cool. I think it's that way. I really like the murals in Scadalia, but otherwise there's just a bunch of restaurants. So yeah, but it's nice to walk through. We're on our way to the Nikola Tesla Museum. It's the most famous museum in Belgrade and Nikola Tesla, his ashes are in the museum. We are walking past a very cool building right now. On Google it says it's the National Assembly. I'm not sure what it is, but yeah, it looks like a government building. Uh. 
we found the museum. It's the building behind me. We can't get in right now because it's all full. They only let 50 people in at once. We have to wait for 45 minutes. We just finished our tour through the Tesla Museum. I don't think you have to do a tour, but if you're already here, I do think a tour is better because they do like some experiments. You are allowed to film a little bit during the experiments, but otherwise you're not allowed to film. You can only pay in cash, so make sure to bring some cash. And Nikola Tesla is even on the Serbian dinar. See his famous for formula and like his design on the backside for... The guy just explained it. I did not quite understand it. Some motor thingy. Church of Saint Sava, the biggest Orthodox Church in Serbia. It's dedicated to Saint Sava, the founder of the Serbian Orthodox Church. It's also one of the biggest Orthodox churches in the whole world. It's actually the fourth biggest one. So yeah, very big. And inside, it's covered with loads of gold mosaics. So we're gonna check that out now. The construction of the church took over 70 years and it was only finished in 2004, and the interior design was only finished in 2021, so not long ago. And the gold mosaic inside is one of the largest in the whole world. It's about 15,000 square meters. It looks really impressive inside. It's so big and so much gold, like, it looks very cool. And I can't believe that it's completely free to visit. So yeah, definitely worth checking out if you're in Belgrade. We are at Kokos, a vegetarian restaurant in Belgrade. It's um, end of April now. And today is, and yesterday as well, it was really sunny and warm. And last week it was freezing cold. So, but yeah, now it's a super nice day today. For all our food and drinks, we paid. Oh, God, do you see those pigeons? <laughs> so we paid 3,930 dinar. That's about 33 euros or 37 US dollars. We are heading to our last stop for the day. Just waiting for the bus now. We arrived at the Ada Peninsula and it's really popular in summer. So we are gonna check it out for sunset. We're gonna have a walk around the island and the park. And on the Ada Peninsula, you can also find the Ada Stonehenge, Belgrade's version of Stonehenge. Almost looks like the real Stonehenge. <laughs> and really nice with the river. I can imagine it's really cool here in summer. Going for drinks or for a swim looks very nice. And you also have the Belgrade sign here. City letters are always cool. Sorry, the end of my day in Belgrade, but in case you visit Belgrade, that does not have to be the end of your day, because Belgrade is known for its nightlife. It's supposed to be one of the best European cities for partying. But yeah, I'm gonna end the video here. Let me know in the comments if I've missed anything great in Belgrade. And yeah, if you've made it this far, don't forget to give me a like. And hopefully I'll see you in the next video.